sure. Yep. So in case we got to turn. Because I got to roll. Okay. Yeah. Bye. I'll get copies of I just got this again. We'll, we'll really? see. <laughs> Are you serious? You should see what it next to you. It's still That's the worst of all the ideas that have been proposed. That's the second one. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live, even though he dies. And to you who mourn the loss, this benediction, may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace, both now and forevermore. I believe it is fitting that we describe who it is we are burying today, who we honor. George Taro Sakato was born February 19, 1921 in Colton, California. He graduated high school in nearby Redlands. He wanted to join the Army Air Corps, but was denied. He applied, but due to anti-Japanese sentiment, he was rejected, classified as 4C, enemy alien, Nisei. He, one year later, he was allowed to enlist he applied for the Air Corps again, but this time he was inducted at Fort Douglas, Utah on March 4th, 1944 at age 23. His serial number, oh by the way, the Army is going back to serial numbers. They found that using the Social Security number was not a good thing after all. <laughs> His serial number, which can't be used for anything but today, 399-233-40. He got off a bus at Camp Blanding, Florida, expecting to see airplanes in the landing strip. Instead, he saw barracks. He asked the sergeant there what was up, and he said, the Army needs you more than the Air Force. With great physical struggle and confessedly poor marksmanship, he completed basic combat training. When he couldn't climb the eight-foot walls of the confidence course, he went around them. And though he couldn't shoot very well, He'd learned to get around that too in combat. He was assigned to the 442nd Regimental Combat Team initially in Italy and moved to France. He fought vicinity B. Fontaine, where his regiment was tasked with recovering, rescuing 200 soldiers of the 141st Infantry Regiment chapped by German Army, and it was a process to get there. And in the process, on October 29th, 1944, while assigned to E Company on Hill, then designated 617, Private Sakato once again lost a buddy who died in his arms. That enraged him, and that loss spurred him to the actions that led to the decorations he received that day and would later be upgraded. Wounded, eventually. I think he got two Purple Hearts, right? He should just he should have gotten more. He was evacuated stateside via England. He was recovering initially at Camp Kilmore Hospital in Vancouver, Washington, when he received a letter informing him from a family member that he had was on a list to receive the Distinguished Service Cross. But it was going to be in Southern California. He was in Washington State. He told the chaplain who got him transferred to Camp Locker. George told me that personally when he knew that I was a chaplain. The chaplain helped me in an important time. Private Sakato was there awarded the Distinguished Service Cross for extraordinary heroism on October 29, 1944 in France. He completed his rehabilitation at Mitchell Convalescent Hospital at Camp Lockett, California, about 60 miles east of San Diego on the U.S.-Mexico border. A lot of rattlesnakes and 
in bugs there. On June 21, 2000, Private Staccato and 21 other Asian Americans were awarded the Medal of Honor by President Clinton in a White House ceremony. The Medal of Honor citation reads, Private George T. Saccato distinguished himself by extraordinary heroism in action on 29 October 1944 on Hill 617 in the vicinity of Defontaine, France. After his platoon had virtually destroyed two enemy defense lines, during which he personally killed five enemy soldiers and captured four, his unit was pinned down by heavy enemy fire. Disregarding the enemy fire, Private Saccato made a one-man rush, rush that encouraged his platoon to charge and destroy the enemy strong point. While his platoon was reorganizing, he proved to be the inspiration of his squad in halting a counterattack on the left flank during which his squad leader was killed. Taking charge of the squad, he continued his relentless tactics using an enemy rifle and P-38 pistol to stop an organized enemy attack. During this entire action, he killed 12, wounded two, personally captured four, and assisted his platoon in taking 34 prisoners. By continuously ignoring enemy fire and by his gallant courage and fighting spirit, he turned impending defeat into victory and helped his platoon complete its mission. Private Sakato's extraordinary heroism and devotion to duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of military service and reflect great credit on him, his unit, and the United States Army. Private George T. Sakato breathed his last on December 2, 2015. He was 94. Ready. Ready. And fire. Ready. And fire. Ready. And fire. Ready. Three, six, one.